All right, you guys, today I want to check out how to make this chiseled text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so let's start. I'm going to go with the size as a reference. And for the font, I went with the Amador Regular. It's a free Adobe font you can download. And from here, I'm going to go to the background layer and I'm going to paint it black. And also make sure that the text is also black. And let's go to the text layer and I'm going to double click on it. And here I'm going to activate the bevel and emboss. And for the technique, I'm going to go and select the chisel hard. Let's go to the depth. I'm going to increase it to 400. Increase the size all the way up. And for the soften, I'm going to go with 3. Now let's go to the shading. I'm going to go and unlock the use global light. And for the angle, I'm going to go with 53. Altitude, 25. And let's go to the gloss contour. And I'm going to go and select the third. All right, let's go on here. We've got the highlight mode and the shadow mode. I'm going to switch these to normal. The blend modes. And the opacity, I'm going to push them up to 65, 65. And I'm also going to go to the black here. And I'm going to make it a dark gray. I'm just going to open it up quite a bit so you can see that, that the right side is going to open it up. I think this way is pretty good. I'm going to click OK. Now let's go and activate the stroke. And here at the stroke, I'm going to go to the color and change it to some light gray. Click OK. And I'm going to increase the size to 2. Right now, I'm just going to go with the position inside. And let's go and activate the inner glow. Now here, I'm going to go to the blend mode, change it to screen. And I'm going to push up the opacity to 45 and increase the noise to 43. Choker is going to be 9. And size, 130. So as you can see, if you increase or decrease the size, it is going to add this really cool green effect so you can play around with it. But I'm actually going to go with like 38. Let's click OK. Now let's go up to the adjustment layer. And I'm going to select the curves. Right now I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now I'm going to go down here and select solid color. Make sure to select the black. Click OK. And let's go to the filter. Noise. Add noise. Click on convert to smart object. And I'm going to go with the amount on 10. Make sure to check monochrome and click OK. Let's go to the blend mode, change it to screen. Now we got some grain going on. And we're going to go back to the adjustments. And let's select the threshold. And here basically you can adjust the handle. But I'm going to pull it on the left. So it's going to open up the graininess. I'm also going to go to the opacity and decrease it. I'm going to go with like 35. And now let's go back here to the curves. And now I can go and add some contrast. And I'm going to go something like this. I'm actually going to go back to the bevel and emboss and double click on it. And I'm going to adjust the angle a little bit more. So the angle is on minus 122, altitude 42, click OK. And I'm also going to duplicate this noise. I'm going to rename it noise, press Ctrl J and bring it on the top. And now I got a full grungy grainy chisel text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.